so it's about to happen. I'm going to enter Adi's house in Patna. Yeah, okay, let's go. And it's uh, so many things happening, so I'm a bit overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, where does it go? Oh, welcome welcome to our <laughs> A few months ago, I finally experienced India myself. Adi, his family, welcomed me with open arms and I quickly became part of the family. It was an unforgettable experience. However, things do go really, really different here from what I'm used to. <laughs> Join us on my adventures in my Indian family. Good morning from Patna. It is day one in a, uh, living in an Indian family and we're going to do some quick groceries. Uh, yeah. They say it's really close by, we can walk and it's still early, so Who it's says? not that warm. You said, I trust you guys that okay. it's, that's close by. Okay. So let's see how that goes. Nice clothes, Mira. Yeah, I'm integrating in India and it's really comfy, these clothes. So we have reached the supermarket on your right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, you are. What do we need, Shubha? We need uh, something like Detol, Vim Bar. So doing groceries is not that uh, difficult here. You just come with your list and he gets all the stuff from the shop. Well, that was really easy. Next time I can even do it. Just come with my list and then yeah. get it for you. Huh. So we can take a round around our colony. Yeah, we do some uh, walking because it's quiet now and not that warm. So we can walk. Yeah. Uh, explore the area, see where Adi grew up. Yeah. We have a story on every corner of this street. So. <laughs> uh, so we are in Adi's house, the house where he mostly grew up and uh, in Patna. And yeah, it's maybe interesting to show this house to you guys. And this is one of the bedrooms. Yeah. And now one of uh, his cousins is uh, sleeping here. And it's really interesting here, like it's a bedroom, but it's also kind of a living room. This and was a living room back then. Oh, it was a living room, but they put a bed. Back then, now, yeah. Like now we all chill here yeah. and we also sit on the bed. And uh, there's also an explanation for that because uh, you chill in the room where there's an aircon. And uh, there's of course not an aircon in every room in the house. So yeah, you just go to the aircon. Right, Adi? Yeah. This is the hallway, and through the hallway we go to the, the, the eating area and the kitchen. And this is where Adi always uh, ate his breakfast in the morning. <laughs> this is where Adi spent most of, most of his time when he was a little kid, because this was his bedroom. Yeah. And he painted it really nice blue. <laughs> I didn't paint it. Oh, we didn't paint it blue. And uh, you have something here from your childhood? Yeah. Where? Oh, there were, but they took it off. Yeah, now someone else is living in this room. But yeah, he here studied, he did all his engineering uh, <laughs> preparations as a child. And I kept my clothes in this one. Oh really? Yeah. This is it. So we just came back from groceries and now it's time to show you a little bit how all the groceries are getting prepared, prepared and they already started cooking for lunch and I believe also dinner this morning because we are with so many people. and quite common in India to start cooking in the morning for yeah for the rest of the day because it just takes time everything. So lunch for today is rajma. 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 Yeah. Uh, it's like kidney beans and uh, a lot of spices of course. It looks I'm sure it will be super nice. And there's also a minced chutney. There. This one. This one. It it's gonna be really warm. warm. Two hours later. Oh, really nice. Oh, there's a new taste. Yeah. yeah I haven't tasted this before. <laughs> oh, really good. Yeah, my aunt cooks uh, rajma <laughs> like the best. Yeah, it's really it's nice. It's like the best. Because you can also cut your hair. No. Munche buch leggi he. So we're having some lunch, and it's the lunch. We, uh, you saw before, which got prepared, and they even got this. I don't know what this is. This is papar. This is oh, papar. 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 And potato, I guess. Potato. Potato. Yeah. potato. Mashed potato. It's called Looks choka. delicious, so I'm really excited to try it. Try it. Yeah. Plain No. Mmm, really good. Yeah. So we have really nice. It's no spicy at all. Perfect. Now we have made two different types. One is a uh, really non-spicy for Mira, 
and one is a normal spicy for rest of us. Oh, you're spicy one? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so it's just uh, yours, is, a, yours is baby food. How's it going so far today, Yeah, it's... it's a lot of people around A lot you? of people around me, of course. A lot of good food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like things like these happen all the time, you know. Yeah. There's not that much privacy here. Yeah. Uh, we have a bit of privacy in our apartment. Smile. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> a big bump, big more in the family, and then I will also start doing this, <laughs> or maybe like this or so. I don't know. But for yeah, Brian, I will. Uh, I yeah. think it just comes by itself. Yeah, but it's a bit unnatural for me to move my head like Just this. wait until five years and yeah, then it's gonna true, be so true. natural. There's so many things like um, even putting bangles on, you need to uh, press your hands, your hand. squeeze your hands. And like, I've never done that in my life. So it's so, so uh, not squeezable. Yeah. And so many of these little things, it's so different. So we are going for a birthday dinner and we suddenly decided that it can be so cool if Mira can wear a sari and it's only my mom who knows that she's wearing a sari so she can sur surprise all our family members. Yeah, I mean, and it was the first time I really paid attention to all the steps and it looks really complicated. So now we're gonna show you and all our other family members their reaction. It is, uh, I have to show you. I have to learn how to wear a sari, I think, because it's also you have to keep this up all the time. Yeah, I, you, you can ask. Like, you can give me yeah. a 360 mirror. Oh. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. Yeah, you Not have to lift it up. But from where? From the front? <laughs> yeah. From the front? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, wow. Beautiful! Oh, it is not so oh, How is she looking? Oh, nice. But it's really not easy. Really not easy. <laughs> I thought yeah. it would be easy because so many women are wearing it. Yeah. 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 Okay, Mira, you go in a different car. Take care. So we finally made it for dinner. Yeah, we are at the Social Culture restaurant in Patna and it looks amazing here. And it's the first time you're wearing a lipstick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see it? I have to check there, I didn't see it myself. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks nice, eh? And we are with the whole family for dinner. Someone is enjoying the noodles a lot. <laughs> How was the food mirror? We had some really good food and especially the starters were amazing. They had broccoli, but they grilled the broccoli like a barbecue taste and yeah. wow, it was the, the first best, time we tried something like this. Best broccoli ever. Imagine the best broccoli ever I have in India. Like, yeah. Even that they do the Crazy. best. <laughs> so now it's quite late, so we're going home. So yeah. yeah. Okay Mira, you go in the other car. Oh, where's the car? Okay. Yeah. Just uh, one part of it's called so choka, it's like smashed, uh, smashed mummy eggplant. Tonight is our last evening in Patna and we are eating uh, one of the famous dishes of Tihar, which is litti and choka. Mira has no clue what it oh, is. Actually, it looks amazing, it smells amazing. It's like uh, an Indian baba ganoush with eggplant and, <laughs> and barbecue uh, smell. And, yeah. Smashed potato. Nice. So we are ready for our... Uh, Litty barbecue, and usually you do barbecue in a charcoal, charcoal in a charcoal coals, or coal, whatever. Yeah. But now we are doing the barbecue stuff is made up of cow dunk. Dunk, just poo, cow poo, cow poo. dried and, cow poo, and it's mixed with some uh, uh, grass, like dry grass. grass. Like and yeah, do you put the litty in that? And then hopefully it cooks, it gets cooked and then we eat that. And then we taste a little bit of cow in it. No, but usually the barbecue nice. has a smoky and charcoal flavor. So yeah. I don't know what, no, what flavor like, yeah, Mira would taste. A little in bit of cowy thing. flavor, no. cow flavor. We'll see, we'll see. Oh. Nice Mira, food so. No, it doesn't smell oh, nothing. it smells pretty good. It smells like grass. Yeah, you can also... Like, uh, like smells a bit like horse. 
<laughs> hiding away from the, the smoke. Mira needs a mask now. <laughs> I think I use this as a mask. <laughs> It smells like firework now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> So guys, this is not the tradition, but we were just having fun. So if oh. you're not from India, please don't think that it's a tradition to jump around the fire like that. But it's so much fun. It's Next nice. time, it's we're also... Fun. No, next time, mm -hmm. we also joins. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so where are we going? We go outside to barbecue them. Okay, let's go. And I still have no clue how they will do this. Oh. So Adi is showing his cooking skills. No, I'm just doing Yeah, yeah. No, do it as well. Yeah. The two different versions of litti, one is the normal one because we also put some green chilies in there. And red chilies. And there's one, these ones for Mia. Mm -hmm. So this is the one uh, without any sort of chili, so. So slowly the litti lich, lich, lich is getting cooked and they look like little potatoes now. Or not little, just like potatoes. I'm so curious how this will taste. So now we make in Netherlands. Yeah. We have to take the cow dung. <laughs> yeah, I just heard that Adi made this uh, cow dung uh, when he was a child. He had to not a child, like well, two years ago. Oh, two years ago, apparently. Is it going out? I was so confused. I was thinking, like, can you eat that ash? But apparently, there is. This is how you fix it. So once, uh, if something is burnt once at your barbecue, this is the solution. Now this is it. This is the final product. So oh, wow! It's gone. So I will try a little piece from the spicy one. It's good. It's crispy. It's just like it's baked in the oven. But I want to try like this, you know, bite. Dip it like this? Uh, front side. Front side. Nothing yeah. is going to fall off. So? Yeah. Yeah. And then and the bit of this? this. That is eggplant to uh, baba ganoush. Yeah. Oh. It's really a barbecue flavor. Oh, yeah. This is nice. But you don't smell the cow poop. <laughs> That's good. I think this is also the magic. Yeah, this is really good. The baba ganoush. It's really nice, but it's almost. Uh, uh, like a Middle Eastern dish. Mm -hmm. But this is one of many dishes Mira will try because soon we are back to India. So we were just done with the. Oh, the electricity is gone! <laughs>